As the war in Israel and Gaza rages on, the fear and uncertainty persists for families all around the world. Jonathan Cotto spoke to a San Antonio high school teacher who has family in Gaza. He shares her emotional and urgent story of her experience with this crisis that's playing out half a world away. Killing never going to be justifiable. Killing innocent people never going to be justifiable at all. Asiel Elashi, a teacher here in San Antonio, in utter devastation over war-torn Gaza. I haven't been sleeping very well. I haven't been eating very well. I could not focus and concentrate on my job as a teacher. She says the Al-Shifa Hospital, the largest medical complex in Gaza, has been placed on high alert. And now I'm scared because if, that, if they have bombed that Shifa Hospital, my, my family house right behind it. Elashi's family locked in the enclave. Yeah, I called my mom today in the morning. I called my mom today in the morning and I can only contact her internationally. She says supplies are running out and electricity has been cut off. All they do is that they live in the darkness, hearing voices and hearing noise and hearing the bombs. They can only tell it how close the bomb is from the, from the sound. More than one million Palestinians have fled their homes, Israel alerting for evacuation. She evacuated with my brother and his uh, little two kids to the southern part, like Israel has been saying. But uh, the southern part is still getting bombed. Elashi says as Gaza is reduced to rubble, she fears her family could be next. Where do you want us to go? Where do you want us to go? The U.S. and Egypt reaching an agreement to allow humanitarian aid into Gaza through Rafah crossing. It is one of the crucial things that they need to get. People in Gaza right now are out of water. There is no, green, there is no uh, uh, clean water. There, are, there is uh, out of medical supplies. It is a humanitarian catastrophe. Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News. And President Joe Biden will address the nation tonight at 7 o'clock right after this newscast. The president is expected to ask for continued support and assistance for Israel, as well as the war in Ukraine. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.